The Denver Broncos are in the business of offloading expensive veteran contracts, and I feel like another one could be coming after the release of Randy Gregory this morning. The main justification for the Denver Broncos cutting Randy Gregory and eating over a $16 million dead cap hit was the emergence of two young edge rushers in Jonathan Cooper and Nick Benito. Well, there's another young emergence at wide receiver in Marvin Mims, and Brandon Johnson, who's waiting, on the waiting in the wings, just waiting to break out, in my opinion. And because of this, I feel like the Denver Broncos could maybe take a similar approach with Cortland Sutton. According to Mike Kliss, the Denver Broncos tried to trade Randy Gregory, but his contract and his lack of production really rendered him untradeable. So, at the end of the day, I feel like the Broncos are going to be able to get something out of Cortland Sutton in a potential trade. And with Brandon Johnson waiting in the wings, I really feel like he's in line for a more expanded role, and that could make Cortland Sutton expendable. If we come over here and look at the financial ramifications of a potential potential Cortland Sutton trade, we'd see here that the Broncos would just have to take a $3.825 million dead cap hit and they would save more than $14 million. So at the end of the day, man, financially that move would make sense for him. And yes, Cortland Sutton did bounce back somewhat in the Chicago game after having two fumbles in the Miami game. He did catch a touchdown, but at the end of the day, man, I feel like Cortland Sutton's production is not really justified the amount of money that we're paying him and like I've said already we've got young players waiting in the wings that are in line for a more expanded role and so trading Cortland Sutton I feel like makes a lot of sense for the team now there's been some talk about the team potentially moving on from Jerry Judy as well now the team would certainly net some premium draft capital if they were to trade away Jerry Judy but I don't know if the team is ready to make that move quite yet as far as, Sutton's, as far as Sutton's concerned, I feel like the Denver Broncos could probably net somewhere around a fourth round pick for him in the trade, especially considering how much money his new team would have to eat in that potential trade. Maybe the Broncos would work out some sort of deal with Sutton's new team where they would eat some of the money and then that would allow them to maybe get a little bit higher draft capital in compensation, maybe a third round pick or something like that. But I still don't know if you're going to get a third round pick for Cortland Sutton, but I do feel like a Cortland Sutton trade is probably going to happen at some point in the future. Now, the Broncos could be potentially in business on offloading some of these other veteran contracts later down the line, maybe Justin Simmons in a potential trade, but I don't see that happening unless the Denver Broncos go out there and they lose multiple games within the next few weeks before the trade deadline. If that happens and we're sitting at, say, 2-6 and six or something like that, heading into the trade deadline, that's where I feel like more moves could potentially be coming. All right, Broncos country, I'm curious. How would you feel about the team potentially moving on from Cortland Sutton? Drop those comments down below, guys. I would love to hear your thoughts, as always. Be sure to leave a like on this video, as well as subscribe and ring the bell so these videos appear in your notification feed. I would really appreciate it, guys. Those are two free and easy ways to show your support, helps tell YouTube's algorithm to push us out, and helps us get seen by more and more members of Broncos country, just like you and me. And until next time, guys, I am your host, Gage Madrid, saying peace out.